Good morning and welcome to 7 at 7. I'm Pastor Daniel and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Good morning. We're so glad you're here with us today. We got a word of encouragement, confession, and prayer up in just a minute. We get to dive back into John chapter 15. Uh, there is so much in this chapter. I'm excited. But before we do, we'd love to hear from you. So hop in the chat. Let us know that you're there. Uh, if there's anything we can be praying for, post that. Pray for the others that you see. And if you have any celebrations of what God's done, we love getting to celebrate those together. Yeah, I have a praise report from Marcy. She said her mom's lungs are just fine. So we are so grateful for that. Yeah, we're praying against some things and the report came back good. All right, well, yesterday I invited everyone to read John chapter 15 with us and to, to look at what stands out. If you haven't read it yet, I want to encourage you and invite you to read John 15. It's a powerful chapter. Yesterday we made it through two verses. <laughs> uh, but... No, it's a juicy chapter win. Yes, we, we, there, there, there's more. But so, I, again, I mentioned um, the other day of, of just the importance or the, the help that a pen or a highlighter has been to me. When I'm marking things and writing down what stands out, more begins to stand out. Yeah. So verse 4, um, he says, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. And then if you if you look, it, it says abide, 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 abide. Like that, that word just keeps coming up. And anytime I, I see something that I keep seeing something, uh, I tend to get out a pen or a marker, find some way that's unique to mark that and to look at that word so I can see, oh wait, this comes up six, seven, eight times right here. There's a lot of significance. If you're going to repeat yeah. it eight times. It must matter. Yeah. And so started going over it going, okay, well, then what does it look like? What does it mean? Because he places so much importance on this. Yeah. I'm like pausing just to give you an opportunity before oh. I just like take off. <laughs> I love verse 9 and 10. So, you know, as Daniel mentioned, over and over again in this chapter, you see the word abide. And then it says in verse 9 at the end, Abide in my love. In 10, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. So I love in those different points because you can hear something over and over again and be like, well, what do I do? How do I do that? <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? What does that look like? And I love that it's talking about abiding in God's love. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. And just that reminder that God loves us so much. He wants to be with us. Yes. He wants to spend time with us and have that relationship with us. And being able to abide in his love, that's one of the ways that we do that is by keeping his commands. Well, how do we know what his commands are? Well, we have to be abiding in his word then. We have to be abiding and getting to know what his commands are and learning how to follow after those. Yeah, I love it. I mean, if you, if you go back a chapter, uh, we read last week, we read John 14 together, and he says over again, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Uh, then, you know, it says it twice. He who has my commandments, uh, keeps them, is the one who loves me. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And, and yeah. It keeps coming up throughout this idea that part of loving God is letting God direct us. Part of abiding in Him is saying, all right, God, I, you are my source and that you get to guide me and lead me, even if I don't like it. And it, there's this yeah. thing where sometimes we're like, yes, I'm going to follow God as long as it's convenient, as long as yeah, I want to. As long as to. He says what I like. Yeah. <laughs> as long as what He says doesn't disagree with my friends mm -hmm. or with culture. And he goes, well, then you're finding a different source. He goes, when you look to me and say, all right, God, it doesn't matter if it's popular, I'm going to follow you. Yeah. Doesn't matter if they like it, doesn't matter if I like it, I'm going to follow you. When I am following someone to get somewhere, they may take turns down roads I don't like, but I am following. And I think when we get that idea that, God, I am following you. So if you tell me to lay my life down for my wife, I'm going to, even if I don't feel like it. If you told me to correct my children, I'm going to do it, even if laziness would be better. Because loving my child may mean correcting them. Loving my child and following God's direction means I'm going to correct them in love, 
not yes. out of my own frustration or anger or annoyance. And, and in these different areas, when I go, all right, God, what you say matters most, I'm going to abide in him by letting him guide, by letting him direct, by looking to his word to say, what do you guide? What do you direct? Yeah, it's good. It's such a powerful thing. And honestly, uh, we, we made it through the first 11 verses. There's a lot that goes in the, in this chapter as he um, gets into loving one another in verse 12. And even as we go, hey, if I'm going to abide, if I'm going to follow his directions, what are some of his directions? And his yeah. verse 12, this is my commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. And then he goes through and talks about his example of, of laying his life down for us, I mean, which is just so powerful. But I want to encourage you to go, all right, today I'm going to abide. Even each day to go through, go, God, today I want to abide in you. What does that look like? Today I'm going to abide in you. So that means it looks like you get to direct. You get to lead. God, what do you want me to do today? God, what, is it, what do you want me to say to my spouse? God, is there anything you want me to apologize to my spouse for? Like, yeah. just like even those really simple things, when I begin to take them to him, it's like you say that and all of a sudden it's so easy to be like, ooh, he's going to call me out on that then let him, yeah. then follow that. And it's so powerful. It's so easy to make excuses or just to keep moving so fast that we don't acknowledge the areas that we're heading off course. And when we go, all right, God, I want to abide in you, it changes things. Yeah, so good. Yeah, there's, there's so much in this chapter. And if you haven't posted something, I'd love for you to post it. And to see what else you got out of it. But we are going to go into our confessions now this morning. Repeat these after me, okay? I am made in the image of God. I am made in the image of God. My words are powerful. My words are powerful. My words will bring healing and life. My words will bring healing and life. I speak words that bring encouragement. I speak words that bring encouragement. And strength to all who hear them. And strength to all who hear them. I use my words to partner with God. I use my words to partner with God. I am quick to listen. I am quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. I am a light to the world. I am a light to the world. Shining with God's love and grace. Shining with God's love and grace. I don't have a spirit of fear. I don't have a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. I take every thought captive. I take every thought captive. And make it obey God. And make it obey God. I think on things that are true. I think on things that are true. Honorable, just, pure. Honorable, just, pure. Lovely, excellent, and worthy of praise. Excellent and worthy of praise. I encourage others and build them up. I encourage others and build them up. Whatever I speak or do. Whatever I speak or do. I do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. I do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. I do all things. I do all things. Without grumbling or complaining. Without grumbling or complaining. God, I thank you that we can do all things without grumbling or complaining. God, that we can look to you and that we can abide in your love. Yeah. That we can seek to love you and honor you in all that we do. Mm -hmm. That we can let our actions honor and glorify you. That others would see them and be drawn towards you. God, I pray for those family members um, and those friends who've been estranged, those family members who've been away from you, Lord, that they would be drawn to you shining in us, that they would see you on display and have a desire for you. God, I call those lost prodigals home to you. And God, that they would come to their senses, that the lies would fall away. God, that they would know and recognize your love, that those seeds have been planted would grow. And we thank you for all that you're doing in us and through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're so glad you joined us today. We hope you have a great weekend. Hope to see you Sunday morning, Sunday night, or again on Monday. Monday. <laughs> yes. Be blessed and we'll see you then.